Hello and welcome from the land of Mercury retrograde. Yes, we are in Mercury retrograde right now. And thank you for joining me. My name is Susan Lynn. I'm a psychic and a medium and I am not an astrologer. So please understand what I'm about to tell you is from my spirit guides. Um, and it's going to be very practical and down to earth, and it's not going to have a lot of astrology jargon or information in it, but I do promise you that you'll probably find it very useful. So my own personal experience with Mercury Retrograde is that, well, I was a photographer for 23 years. Every Mercury Retrograde, my computers would go nuts, my hard drive would fail. My experience with Mer Mercury Retrograde has not been positive, <laughs> has not been a positive experience in my life until I found out that I could go back and finish projects that I had given up on. Now, I have a lot of Virgo in my chart and a fair amount of Capricorn in my chart, and I'm a goal master, right? I get a lot of satisfaction from completing things. And for me to walk away from a project is a big deal. Like usually I would just walk away from it and pretend like I never started it <laughs> because that's the only way, right? I can't admit defeat. There's no way I could do that, right? So what happened was many years ago, I was trying to do a really big project. I was trying to build a small studio and I mean like a small studio um, in the back of my property. It was uh, going to be like maybe 400 square feet. And I had hired someone and, and it had just gone dramatically wrong. Um, they ended up giving me my money back and I, and I hired someone else and it went dramatically wrong. And they ended up absconding with whatever money I gave them. Um, the third person I hired didn't show up. So I just said, you know what? I can't deal with this right now. I'm going to table this. I'm going to forget about it. Although the problem was, is that some part of it was built. So I was reminded of it often of this sort of unfinished project, which I already told you is a problem for me. So here comes one particular Mercury retrograde. Now I will say that we probably had had one other one since this project had failed, but for some reason, when this particular Mercury retrograde came, I was in a place mentally, physically, psychologically, and spiritually to be open to guidance. And I got the energy. Now, when we get guidance, sometimes, you know, it's just energy. Sometimes we're just like, oh, I have the energy to do this project, or I have a new thought about how to work on this project. It's not always like Samuel L. Jackson in your head saying, Susan, <laughs> do the project. It's not like that, you guys. It can be subtle and, and very, you know, you can miss it, to be honest with you. So when this particular Mercury retrograde rolled around with this, when, when I had this project in flux, I got a new idea. I thought, I'm going to hire the contractor that I saw a couple of blocks away doing a project at my neighbor's house. Now, this guy had been working on this project for a while and it never occurred to me until a week before this Mercury retrograde. I called the guy in the middle, like let's say the third day of the Mercury retrograde, and he had an opening and he came and did the project from start to finish quickly, all within the Mercury retrograde. It was literally finished. And it was like a miracle had happened, <laughs> literally like a miracle. And so I finally realized at some later date, retrograde, redo, right? You might know more about retrograde than I do, but obviously retro is in the name we get a chance to go back and redo things that weren't done, or maybe they weren't done right. So why not use this Mercury retrograde to go back or use any, frankly, I mean, no matter when you're watching this, 
Use your Mercury retrograde to go back and finish whatever project has been languishing or forgotten about. I mean, it could be as simple as cleaning out the garage or it could be something major like finishing a construction project. But this energy will often give you the extra oomph, the extra connections. You're working with the universe in this particular instance. The universe is saying, go back, redo, retry, rethink, revisit some things. So in this case, you're actually aligning with the purpose of Mercury going reverse. Now, obviously, some things, and it doesn't obviously go reverse, it just appears to go reverse in the sky. Obviously, you still need to pay attention to contracts and communication and emails and backing up your hard drive and all the things that we know Mercury retrograde to be. Um, so, so you still need to pay attention to those things. But in this case, and, it, and it's happened, it's happening right now, to be completely honest with you, I got energy. I got energy last week in the shadow of Mercury retrograde to do some pretty organizational things. Now you would think I'm a Virgo. I'm good at organization. I'm here to tell you, no, that is not true. I'm a reject Virgo. I didn't get that, you know, on the assembly line. I was distracted by something, a unicorn or something. And that stuff just went right on by. Organization just went straight on by. I didn't, I didn't pick it up and put it in my bag, you know? So I missed it. So, but last week in the shadow of Mercury retrograde, I started organizing my butt off. I created charts, calendars to the degree that actually some of my viewers, uh, some of my members, <laughs> some of my members shout out, shout out to you, T-Barb, called me out on it. T-Barb is like, oh, the guides have got a hold of you, girlfriend. You're being extra organizational right now. <laughs> well, no, my guides, God bless them. They needed extra help and they had to wait for Mercury retrograde. I went back and did something I've been meaning to do. And I will say also shout out to my spirit guides because when I say I've been meaning to do it, what I really mean to say is they've been meaning for me to do it, meaning they've dropped thoughts in my head. Hey, Susan, you should create this calendar. Hey, Susan, what? this is a good time to create this calendar. Hey, Susan, why not put this on the calendar, right? These things just came and went, you know, like I'm like, I'm busy, I'm tired, I can't do it, right? I just, I wasn't paying attention to their helpful hints, let's just say. So they waited for Mercury retrograde. I got my redo energy in. Oh, right, I need to go back and revisit this calendar. I need to get this stuff done. And I'm telling you, it was done like a Virgo did it. <laughs> it had all the details in it. It was really ready to go and that energy was so interesting because I started it and did a lot of work on it like let's say an hour and a half worth of work on it but then I had to go do something else that was pressing and I was directed to come back and finish it now how many times do you start on something that you're not really wanting to do anyway and then something interrupts you and you're like well I have to go do that and you don't finish that thing that you were working on before well no mercury retrograde and my guides teamed up together double teamed me and directed me right back until i finished it so this is a really good time guys if you feel energy and what i mean by that is you feel energized all of a sudden you have the energy to think about this thing or the energy to go talk to this person about this thing or the energy to revisit a problem or take steps towards a problem, then that is Mercury retrograde adding a little pep to your step to help you go back and perhaps finish that problem during this time. So hopefully this has been helpful for you and you can understand how, you know, we all complain. I mean, me, I'm Listen, I have a lot of problems with computers anyway. My energy tends to fritz things out. That's why I don't wear watches. Um, but really, Mercury retrograde can get a bad rap in some ways because 
if we're working with the energy of that particular cycle, then we're in resonance, right? We just had a full moon. Work with the full moon energy. Work with the, the solstice energy. Learn to work with the energies that are affecting our planet and you'll be more in resonance with the energy and you'll get more done in your physical life, which I think is a win-win, right? Thanks for joining me. Take really good care of yourself. Go out there and tackle those problems that have been shelved. And we'll talk again soon. Take care.